Hello and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot and this week's Toxic Love Reading for the Sign of Cancer. We're going to jump right into pulling your cards and your person's cards. You come in with Ace of Pentacles, King of Wands, <clears throat> Ace of Cups, and the Fool. Your person in this love connection, this toxic love connection is coming in with Justice, Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Pentacles. And the Eight of Cups, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Moving forward, taking action. Um, all right, we're going to put that right there for now. Cancer, I see justice on the table. Some of you may be dealing with a Libra. So let's get right into your energy and your person's energy. You're coming into the week with Ace of Pentacles energy. So you're starting something brand new, right? Something in the physical. You're really working on manifesting something. Um, we're going to pull more clarifiers, of course. Your person is coming in with justice. And as I said, you may be dealing with somebody who's resonating with Libra energy in their chart or in their sun sign. But nevertheless, they're coming in this week with a feeling of wanting to rebalance, okay? Things have been really out of whack for them lately. And um, there's some karmic rebalancing coming in. Let me begin to shuffle my clarifying deck. Ace of Pentacles and Justice Energy. Show me Ace. All right, so it's a new love. This person is new coming in for you, right? Immediately you're falling for them, Cancer. Immediately you're like, oh, I wanna make a life with this person. Four of Cups energy is there. So <clears throat> toxicity is here. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, your person is right away. I feel like they are an opportunist. Okay. You're dealing with somebody. Because as I look ahead in the cards, you're dealing with somebody who sees you as a golden opportunity. You yourself, Cancer, are probably quite affluent. You have some money. You have some means. You have stability. Your person is... <clears throat> I believe that they're dealing with somebody in their life currently and all of a sudden they're shutting them out. You're kind of the nice shiny new button. You're the nice shiny glittering new thing for them. You come in with King of Wands and they with Wheel of Fortune. How do you see each other? You see them. They're presenting to you as somebody who's really in control. You know, they know what they're doing and they're in charge. But however, when they see you, they see a Wheel of Fortune, an opportunity. Uh... There are, are no cup cards here for them. And for you, you have Ace of Cups here right away. Love coming in, you know. Um, so for you, yeah, a great new love with somebody that presents as a strong, fiery character. Nevertheless, Cancer, they see you as this golden opportunity. And again, this is where I'm getting this vibe that they're an opportunist coming in. Definitely uh, in the process of, of dealing with somebody else. Four of Cups is there for them. They have somebody else in their life I'm not even sure if you know about, right? Yeah. For you, this is like a love. <clears throat> for them, this is an opportunity and a pathway towards something. When they see this relationship, they're looking at gain. Cancer, for you, this is an extremely exciting new love connection. And as I say, you know, you wonder, it's like, okay, but this is a toxic love reading. Why do I feel so great about this connection if it's toxic? Well, I believe, Cancer, that probably you've been drawn to this reading because there's something inside of you letting you know that something's amiss. Let me get another card here. Mm -hmm. King of Cups over King of Wands and Four of Swords. Yeah, there's a feeling of... There is a feeling of not being sure about this decision. There is love here. Suddenly it feels great, but there is a, uh, a not a warning, but a hesitance here on your part, Cancer. Something is nagging at you about this individual. And even though you desire to make them <clears throat> yours, you're, you, this is clearly a love connection. You clearly, this is brand new. You clearly want to do something. There's a feeling here with that four of swords that you're just not ready uh, to make the decision for sure, for sure, for sure, right? There's something else here nagging at you. For them, they are on a path. They're on a trajectory. And again, when they see you, 
you know, you're the one with all this love energy here, but when they see you, when they move towards you, it all seems to be about product or I want to say, uh, return. Yes. They, there's, there's a feeling here that they are like, oh my gosh, you know, I got really lucky with this cancer. I better put some effort into it. I'm not sure that there's love there. They're happy though. Nine of cups. They are happy here. Just take care. Because I do feel that this person is leaving someone else to be with you. At the very least, they're leaving somebody else to be with you. And I do feel to a certain degree that although they're happy with you, yeah, they're not, it's not like they're completely faking it. They are happy. They do enjoy their time with you, but I don't think they are as enamored with you as you are with them. And for the most part, what they like about you, what they enjoy about you is the physicality, right? The money, I would say, definitely issues with money coming in. The physicality, um, yeah, maybe the sex as well, feeling good about, you know what I mean? But the, the, the deep, deep love that you're feeling, I'm not necessarily sure they're feeling that. In addition to that, I also believe that your person is hiding or certainly not telling you about another love connection that is like literally right there, right? That they literally just a second said no to. I mean, like literally the day before they, they hooked up with you or they began something with you, they were with somebody else. And the moment you came into their life, it's like they've turned that faucet off to this other person. I believe this is what's going to be bringing in some um, <clears throat> toxicity. And there's your three of swords. So waiting for that to pop out, because the thing is, is up until now, it all seems very cozy and wonderful and beautiful cancer. Let me move these cards. I always like to make sure that you guys see, try to see at least all of the cards. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you have this huge love connection, right? This new sort of outpouring, this new fountain of love coming in and it feels all great, but there is something nagging at you. That's making you unable to really move forward with a prominent decision. And here right away, finally, it comes that three of swords. Yes, betrayal. Because at the very outset of the reading, I see that this person has somebody else in their life and it feels very secret, feels very secretive. It feels like they are, you know, they might be buying into this whole love story with you. And yeah, they have fun with you and all that, but they're buying into this love story with you. <clears throat> to convince you to a certain degree that they're on the same page with you, but they're absolutely not. And there's your three of swords. There's your betrayal. Ultimately, you have Ace of Cups again showing up here for how you see yourself in this relationship. You're really swept up. You feel young. You feel like, you know, the fool ready to leap off the cliff. But I'm telling you now that this person, three of cups, mm -hmm, this person has a lot of interfering energy coming in. Um, they have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of other things going on that you don't really know about. Three of cups is coming in over that three of pentacles. It indicates to me that, you know, there's also a feeling here of being very popular and wanting to be part of the gang and all of that. This person really, truly is just kind of putting on a facade. I'm telling you, um, they are, <clears throat> you know, it isn't that it isn't that they are so bad, right? It's not like they're doing anything truly horrible. It's just that there is deception there in terms of how deep their emotions are. They're kind of rah rah and do and going along with your plan because you're a good catch. But it's more because you're a good catch rather than it's because they feel the same way about you that you do about them. Do you see what I mean? And so in this way, it's disingenuous. Um, four of pentacles issues with money begin to come in as well, because ultimately it's your money and your finances that they're attracted to. It's your affluence that they're attracted to. Um, you know, you, you do, you're doing really well. This is a reading for a cancer that's doing very, very well right now. And, uh, you know, this person that you're connected with, I think this is so brand new that you haven't really seen all their toxicity yet, but it starts to come in. Three of Swords shows up and Four of Pentacles show up. So it starts to come in fairly soon. You immediately are like aware of the fact that, hang on a second, there's other shit going on here that they didn't tell me about. And on top of it, why is my money funny so fast, right? 
Why am I suddenly worried about how much cash I got all of a sudden? Well, I will say that it's because this person is working very quickly. And the problem here, of course, is that you feel like you're in love with them, <clears throat> right? For you, they've really knocked you off your feet and, and you're, yeah, you're like enamored. You're in love. You feel like this is the one, but the more you find out about them, the more you find out that there's deception here. They're very disingenuous about their true motivations. You're dealing with an opportunist and you're dealing with somebody who all of a sudden is making your money funny. The other thing here is that you have full energy coming in eight of cups. Ultimately, if this relationship doesn't kind of, you know, live up to what they expected, they're going to walk away very quickly. So it's like, bam, bam, you fell in love and everything's great. And yeah, you feel a little funny. You're not sure, but you love them. You fall in love. They say they love you, blah, blah, blah. You say, okay, well, I feel a little unsure. So, you know, I love you. You say you love me. And this is like a big wild romance. So I guess I can pull back my money real quick, right? Like I don't have to spend money right away, right? Because if you love me, you'll let this relationship grow. And then boom, they say, oh, hell no, uh-uh. There's nothing that needs to grow. Your money has to be there. Everything I expect has to be there now or else I'm stepping off. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like your hesitance is making you sort of take it things slowly. And as soon as you begin to take things slower, they're like, oh, I don't think this is for me. Because ultimately what they wanted was what you had. They didn't. They don't want to take things slowly because they're not really in it for what you're in it for. Mm-hmm. You know, it's tough to hear, but it's true. If you're resonating with this reading, this is what the energies are saying here, right? Um, and and listen, you're going to know what I'm talking about if you're resonating with this reading because you're already getting inklings of it. You already have in your gut a feeling that something is not right here. The elixir and the phantom, right? So the elixir, you know, I mean, what have they given you to make you believe it? You know, number 51 for your number heads, the elixir. Take that as you will. Yes, it may feel like, you know, an intoxication that you have with them. But, you know, to a certain degree, they've also poured it on, right? And then we also have the phantom. The phantom, you know, are they who they say they are? Like, you know, it's like they come in so fast and leave so fast when you don't step up and do what they expect you to do. And if they can't get what they want to get out of you right away, they step off so fast that it feels very much like phantom energy. So do take care. If your gut is telling you that somebody isn't right for you, then listen to that. You know what I mean? Listen to that intuition because it's going to, you know, it's going to steer you correct. At the bottom of the deck, we have that two of wands. You know, they're really determined. This is somebody who's very determined to get their piece of the pie, but as quickly as they are determined to get their piece of the pie, they're also very determined to step right off if they don't get what they want, remember how quickly I'm saying that they stepped off over here with this individual, this person you're dealing with had somebody literally 24 hours before they met you or maybe the same day. But the moment they met you, they stepped off of this person so quickly. So you represented a shiny new bauble for them. And as soon as you don't shine and provide the reflection that they require, they're going to move on to the next one. Insecure. Mm -hmm. vengeful Ooh, and judgmental. Wow. Take that for what it is. Insecurity coming in. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to leave that right there. Insecure. Let's put it over like this. Okay. And then we have vengeful. Vengeful. <clears throat> See how that comes in. Oftentimes people like this as well can get quite vengeful because they really they feel like they're owed something, you know, opportunists are feel like they're owed whatever opportunity they take or whatever situation they sort of exploit and judgmental. All right. There's a judgmentality here. Again, take that as it comes, right? You're dealing with somebody here who's very, you know, dishonest, disingenuous about their true feelings, really has ulterior motives. And that's what makes this person so toxic. It isn't that they haven't done, have done anything in particular horrible to you, apart from the fact that their motives are dishonest. And that means you're playing with somebody's heart. And that in and of itself is extremely toxic. All right, Cancer, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your weekly toxic love tarot reading. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember these readings are not going to resonate with everyone, but if it did resonate for you, sound off in the comments. Do check out your cancer love reading, which I will link to this video um, that I did earlier in the week. But for right now, cancer, cancer cross watchers, thank you so much for joining me. I wish you all love, life, and happiness, and I hope to see you guys next week for your love and or your toxic love reading. Bye-bye now.